So our, our team decided, you know, let's get together and let's figure out how to respond to San Ali's open letter of forfeiture. So when we did, we came to the conclusion that, you know, instead of writing a formal letter, let's have a video, you know. I'm coming from a film and communications background and I said I was going to do that, so let's do that. Let's, let's, let's communicate through a video. Um, so in this video, you're going to see people's personal responses and how this letter affected them. Um, some responses are longer than others, so we decided to break it up into two parts instead of just one, one, one video. So here it is. Sana, um, I was really offended by this letter. Um, I was really offended, uh, especially about your accusation of, you know, us all having to conform to a preset mandate. Um, I was never given a mandate. Um, I was, I was, you know, given an option to, you know, meet every single week with our team, where you and I and our entire team were there. Um, people voiced their concerns. Uh, people were given a chance to agree or disagree with any of the points. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's important for everyone to acknowledge that, is that we were all given a voice. Um, one thing that I particularly wanted to bring forth was a mental health awareness campaign this year. Um, and I feel that when, when I brought up that idea, that was welcomed. Um, I also don't think it's fair that you know, you're accusing us um, and generalizing our team as being closed-minded, when in reality, um, it was you who chose not to do this anymore. I never planned to spend more than a year on the UTCU exec, but a, a few things happened this year that made me change my mind. I wanted to make sure that we were doing all that we could to continue to reach out to students and colleges and faculties. I wanted to make sure we were fighting against all forms of oppression and hate on campus. I wanted to continue to be that advocate for students, and so I, I tried to I came up with a list of people that I wanted to run with. And so I asked you, Sana, because you'd been involved on campus. I saw a lot of the work that you'd been doing with PDF. Um, I'd seen you speak at events, and you had a lot of ideas to improve our campus, to improve the students' union. And so that's why I asked you, not because of your visual, cultural, social identity, not because of what you look like. I, I can't believe that you would think that we asked you, but I asked you because of your race or ethnicity. Like, I asked you because you had a lot of ideas to bring to the Students Union. And I was really looking forward to working with you. And so we put together this platform as a team. We looked at I, I, I had ideas about, I spoke to you about some of the stuff that had happened this year with the men's rights groups and like targeting us at clubs there. I told you about how I was worried that I'd be the next woman that they put on their website for being afraid to speak up, for speaking up on campus. And I, I talked about the food bank idea because a student came to me and said that they, that they, that they weren't able to access the food bank through the regular hours. And so that was on our platform, expanding the hours of the food bank. Um, I planned the winter week, the week of welcome this year. And so, and I wanted to build on it. So we added that to our platform as well. And like, we had so many meetings and we worked for so many hours with the rest of the board, with the rest of the exec, and everyone had ideas to contribute to this platform. And so, I can't believe that you would say that this is the same from year to year. Like, if sexism is on the platform and it was last year, I'm sorry that we weren't able to eradicate sexism and all forms of oppression in one year. And I'm sorry that we haven't yet accomplished affordable, accessible education for everyone. But like, I think that the purpose of a student's union is to continue to work for those things. And. I'm sorry, I, I don't know where a lot of the stuff is coming from. I'm sorry that you don't feel up to meeting with us yet, but I, I'd really like to know. So on the, on the first day, I, I remember we met all potential executive candidates and all potential board members. And the first thing we asked each other was, what do we want to change at U of T? And um, I remember everybody was given an opportunity to say exactly what they wanted to do. Um, 
and where they were coming from. And I think we came up with more than 90 platform points by the end of it. Um, and I myself made, sh made clear what I wanted to do. I talked about my film background and how I wanted to bring film and communications into my job. And, and I remember talking about redesigning the website and, and using communication just so people can understand exactly what's going on between UTSU and, and all the different clubs on campus and, and the different events. And you yourself, I remember you saying that you really liked this idea. Um, what I'm just trying to say is that we were all given our voice voice to speak. Um, so I don't get it when you said we, we had a preset mandate. You know, um, We all came up with these platform points together. And, and then I remember us all sitting down and going through those platform points and me handing out markers to everyone and we picking those platform points together, like our top, our top ones, and and we fighting over it like it was some sort of competition. Like, no, I want, I want to do this. I think we should do this. Da da da. You know. So I don't, I, I just, I don't, I don't understand. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm just disappointed in this whole, this thing because we 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 we'd always joke around. You know, I was always the jokester, and you'd always, you know, you're very happy and very positive, um, and it just, it just saddens me. Um, we are, we are always able to express ourselves as individuals, um, and if we ever had a problem, we would always talk about it, and I just, I don't know. And as for the debate and, and the statements, I wrote that debate myself. I wrote every single word of it. It all came from the heart. I didn't have somebody else write it. I, I wrote that myself. It just hurts because I, I, that, was, that was coming from me. That was m all me. And for you to take that away from me is just... And as for that statement, I remember writing that at 4 a.m. in the morning as I was waiting for a video to upload and I just finished editing and just, I don't know. We worked together as a team and all of our voices were heard. <clears throat> we all liked each other's ideas. We all worked together because we, those ideas made sense for U of T. And that's why I thought we were, we, we, that, that's 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 what made us us we're like our personalities came out, and we were trying we, we I don't know.